Boys, today we're going to be talking about the fastest way to finish set one and what I am doing right now. Now, I've talked about a couple videos. We've done kind of a set one collection versus a core collection, which one I think more is, is more important. And I will keep on talking about that, how I do think that the number one important thing to do in MLB The Show 24 right now is finish core collection first and then do set one. However, I've had a ton of you guys ask me what's the best way to finish set one? What are you guys doing? What should I be kind of paying attention to? How do I finish these team affinities? So we're gonna be talking about that in today's video as I still think it is important to finish set one and I will do it eventually. However, it's not obtainable now and I'm not gonna get this done until I have the core collection done because those are cards that I can use all year that will be really good. I really like Pedro Martinez. I think he's gonna be amazing. And Babe Ruth cards I always act actually rail with and he's the best hitter in the game statistically and he's gonna be the best hitter in the game all year so I really want that bat in my lineup he's my DH for my whole year and I really need him on my squad however let's talk about what you guys should be doing to finish the whole thing but before we get to today's video make sure you guys drop a like and a sub as I know a ton of you guys like 80% of you guys they're not subscribed so hit that sub button help me quit my full-time job and let's get right into it Thanks to my video sponsor, U4GM. They're offering cheap MLB The Show 24 stubs with quick delivery. If you're interested, please click the link in the description and check out their services. Use my code Brady for 5% off your purchase. First things first, let's talk about these cards, okay? Now, I want to be very clear with you guys. Although I, th I think Willie Mays is an amazing card. I think that he's going to be one of the best cards in the game, and I think he's disgusting. However... He's a center fielder. There's a lot of really good center fielders that I feel like we're going to get in set one other than Willie Mays. And the way that I'm kind of comparing these guys, like George Brett, um, I know George Brett and Willie Mays are both better, are to cards such as um, the Jimmy Rollins that we get from the XP reward path and stuff like that. These are the caliber of 99s that the game is going to give us. It's going to give us cards like Jimmy Rollins, cards like this that we're going to be seeing and we're ramping up slowly to where we're probably going to be getting these about three or four weeks. And do I think that these guys like Satchel Page, for example, is even a ton better than like Randy Johnson whenever he gets a 97, 99, 98 card instead of this 93? No, this card has outlier and is a lot bigger. I don't think that he's better, but we're going to talk about how I think that we should kind of just keep in mind that these cards are great and they're amazing right now, but are they going to be better for in the whole scheme of things than core collection cards and a bunch of other cards that are going to come late in the program? Probably not. Okay, I'm going to be the show that likes to make money. I would be stunned if they don't drop a 99 overall pack that has cards that are just as good as these cards. But those cards are going to cost a lot of stubs because those are going to be cards that are disgusting that are only available through packs, such as chase cards, such as stuff like that. They've slowly been, whether we like it or not, they've been integrating a lot of these cards into the game. So we got to keep in mind that these are really good cards, but they're going to be really good cards. So if you're like overwhelmed and you're not wanting to get this done, you're going to be okay. However, let's talk about the fastest way to get that done. You can see I'm sitting at about 40 right now. Now, obviously, I've talked about this in my stubs videos. I am selling every single card that I get right now. But the first thing you guys are going to want to make sure that you're doing is you're going to want to make sure that you're taking care of your free cards, such as Andrew McCutcheon. I'm not really selling them because it's not worth it. 8,800 stubs for a set collection card. Um, same with Randy Johnson. I think he's too valuable on the mound to sell him. But these are both cards for just grinding the ranked program. There's a bunch of cards that we've gotten throughout just getting events, like Brian Abreu. I'm still not done with the event. Hopefully, I have that done today. I'm really close to getting him, though. I'm getting really close to getting him, so hopefully, we'll have him out of the squad. But there's a ton of cards to add. They're free program cards. Um, the central cards, such as Jose Abreu, Billy Wagner, these cards. And the way that I've been honestly grinding it is I can sell you guys to go play mini seasons, a Team Fendi mini season. But honestly, guys, it's not that hard this year, okay? It might be the easiest Team Affinity grind that I've ever seen in my life. And we're getting set to Team Affinity coming very soon, I believe, uh, next Friday or next Wednesday. Someone will have to double-check me that in the comment section down below. However, whenever we're grinding the set one collection, whenever we're going through Team Affinities, you can see that this is without me even grinding it. I haven't really grinded it that much. I should be zoomed in on it right now, but I'm at 100% in AL East. I'm at 98% in NL East. 81% on basically the Centrals, 100% NL West, and 20% in AL West. I haven't even been trying, okay? Now, one thing that I will say is, like, for example, the 98%, if I want to just finish this, all I have to do is just go and play one moment, okay? So if you're really wanting to get these done, the first thing I would say is play the moments. 
But what I will talk about and how it's just been so easy for me this year, it's just been the repeatable missions with these Phillies Nationals cards. They give you a lot, 6,000. Now, if you're playing BR or if you're playing uh, a lot of right seasons, just make sure you're, you're looking at some of your cards and who you have. Like, for example, since I do not have, um, I believe it is, uh, which one I'm really low on? Yeah, AOS. So, like, Houston cards, Astros, or Astros cards, Angels cards, A's cards, Texas cards. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a couple of live series guys and put them in my lineup and ranked. And if I, and another thing I can do is just when I'm playing BR, I can add a couple of these guys. But if you want to finish these a little bit quicker, you can, um, you can do some of these missions that are really good. Um, and make sure you're doing your moments, okay? So I'm probably going to try to get these moments done really quick because I want to have chapter one completely done before chapter two comes out because hopefully we're getting really good cards there. I mean, a lot of these cards are pretty good, like Carlos Correa, Rysel Iglesias. Like, these are definitely usable cards right now. Um, but just definitely just throw a bunch of them in your lineup. Now, I, I'm sure a bunch of people are saying, like, play mini seasons with the cards full of lineups with these. You can. You can do that. I would double down. And if you're using a bunch of these cards and you have stubs, buy a bunch of their better cards. Go into events right now to where you can be getting all this repeatable XP, but you're not just wasting your grind time. Like, make sure that you're doubling up. So if I'm grinding for this uh, AL West and I want to get this done, I'm just going to take a lineup full of Astros, and I'm going to go straight into the event and get some event wins. That way I can get that Brian Abreu, so I'm helping out Team Affinity and getting the set collections done. Okay, so just kind of make sure you're being really smart about this, because you can totally choke it and then just be like, listen to some other YouTuber who's saying, yeah, I just go to mini seasons to get the Affinities done. And you could just be wasting your time. You could just be wasting your time. The only reason I would do that is if you just use, you're not very good at the game. I know a bunch of you guys are brand new to the game. You're not very good at the game. Um, but still, even if you're doing that, you're getting parallel XP either way. And I like your chances. You're going to win a game here and there. Or if you're doing what I usually recommend in events and you suck at events and you're forfeiting your first game and playing your second game, you're going to be you're gonna have better chances of winning because you're going to be playing someone else who's 0-1. So you're probably going to be playing someone who's hopefully at your skill level. And that will help you win games to get the Brian Abreu. So you can either sell that card, make stubs, put them to the core collection, or you can have that card towards set one. Because we're going to get these cards in set one. You just got to keep on being smart and getting these affinities done. But they're not that hard this year. They're really not. And I know a bunch of you guys are going to be like, well, which ones would I buy up? Now, if you're wanting to buy up some of these cards and make this go quicker, um, let's go back to the set collections and kind of talk about some of them that I've had my eye on. And I've kind of been thinking about it, but I still don't have core done. I'm really close, but I don't have core done yet. Um, and so I'm kind of just waiting out on that until I have core done. But if I were going for set one collections fast, this is what I would do. Is I would start at the bottom with like the Richard Blair BR cards. I would make sure that I have all of these cards for now. Because once this BR season ends up uh, leaving, these cards are going to be really expensive. Like Jake Odorizzi, who's 600 he's going to skyrocket to like 5 7 k I've seen it happen a million times. If you want to make a lot of subs too, start buying up one of these cards, like the Richard Blairs, and get a couple of friends to do it. And you can actually skyrocket it. It's like Monopoly. It's crazy what can happen whenever you just buy up a certain card. But they're going to go up. These cards that are going for 500 right now are going to end up being $6,000 cards. Uh, six thousand dollars, six thousand stub cards in a little bit. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, I've collected a lot of cards that are like uh, season ones that don't matter, especially like the new one that we got for our Tony uh, Tarasco. So just make sure you're kind of getting all of these guys that you're getting for free. Um, I believe this was uh, something else, but he's going for two K. I'm just gonna collect them like he's not worth it. But just kind of keep in mind um, to buy up all of these before the BR season comes out next Friday, I believe or next Wednesday, whenever it is, make sure you buy these up. I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to buy these up before that happens because I sold them right at the beginning for like 3K a pop, 2K a pop, and now I'm going to be buying them back and getting some stubs back. So kind of just keep in mind, do this, but this is kind of the fastest way to get these collections done and kind of keep on going. Just kind of be smart about what you're buying, okay? So don't mess it up. But it, you can't really go wrong. It's a little bit slow of a grind right now. I know there are some people that are really close and are a couple programs away. But basically, just make sure you're doing your programs. Make sure you're getting your free cards. And for Team Affinities, just throw a couple of those guys in your lineup. Don't play many seasons. It's a waste of time. If you're going to do a whole lineup, just go into an event. But I hope that you boys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you smash that like and sub button. I'll talk to you boys later. Have a great rest of your day. Subscribe if you haven't already. And peace.